Hi there, welcome to Flatsum Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn variation select options for WooCommerce variable product into color, image, and label swatches. To turn drop down product variation select boxes into beautiful swatches, we are going to install Woo Variation Swatches plugin. It's a simple plugin that allows you to enable swatches into your variable product pages and it's quick view without touching single line of code. To install this, Head to the side backend and navigate to plugin upload section. Search for the U variation swatches plugin and install it. After plugin activation, we need to create product attributes and its variation globally so that we can quickly select them from variable product page edit settings. Now get into attribute from products. For demonstration purpose, we will create three product attributes. They are image, color and label. Let's create image attribute first. Fill attribute name field. Select image attribute type and then select add attribute button. Now we will insert attribute variations selecting configure terms link. I will insert three variations for image attributes but you can insert any number of variation you want. Likewise, we will create color and button attributes. We can term button attributes as label type. When we will create attribute to show color, we have to select color attribute type. On the other hand, when it comes to show label or button attributes for variable product, we will select button attribute type. After creating attributes, we can add variation inside attributes anytime. When product and its attribute are created, you can add them to any variable products quickly. For demo, I am going to select a product. Make sure your selected product has variable product selected from product data dropdown. Select attribute tab and click on custom product attribute. In the custom product attribute dropdown, you will find all available attributes created in the attribute setting before this step. I am going to add all attributes one by one and select their all available values. After adding attributes and its value, check use for variations and click on save attributes button. Now select variation tab and click go button to add attribute variations. You have to add variations and set their available combination. I am going to add six product variations and combine them with color, image and levels. After adding variations, insert variation images prices and get to the font end after saving the all changes. Currently I am on the variable product page that I have just configured. You can notice the beautiful swatches are now coming and it's working as expected. Now head to this product catalog view and trigger the quick view window. On my end variation swatches are working cool. Hopefully this plugin will boost your site usability and sales. That's all for today. Don't forget to give feedback for this awesome plugin and subscribe this channel for more flatsome videos.